everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It is a glorious day and everything is covered in white. It has been snowing so I am having a day in the house. I am not leaving but hence the bun. So I thought I'd show you as promised from the end of last week's vlog I went into St James's Centre and picked up some little bits so I'm not going to do a full makeup um, situation today because obviously I'm staying in the house but I am going to try out my new products that I got. Um, I'm extremely furious because I have been wanting to treat myself to the By Terry CC um, Serum for ever and it's very expensive and I've just been obsessed with it for so long and I thought you know what I'm going to try this out um, especially with like my birthday coming up and I've got a few trips coming up I want to be able to have a really lovely product to put on my face um, so I went into Harris Beauty and picked it up, got a sales assistant to help me and I've got home and it is not the right one. I can't tell you how angry I am. Um, I wanted the one that is like the tan version so you put it on and it gives you a lovely glow and she's given me the apricot glow which it's 61 pounds and it's not the right thing that I've got so I'm gonna have to go back and get the correct one I'm sure you can understand the frustration but I'm sure this will be lovely on the skin um, so I got that by accident and I also got the um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Poreless Primer um, so I got this and I was swaying between getting this and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream um, so again I spoke to the sales assistant and opted for this because it does have SPF 50 in it and with like skin coming up I thought it would just be perfect so I'm going to pop this on give this a bash pop a little bit of concealer on and see how my skin looks um, without having any foundation on I also picked up some new shampoo usually I am um, Olaplex die hard now um, if you watch my hair vlog um, you'll know why but I seen this living proof brand and I got a few bits in my advent calendar like sample sizes and I really enjoyed them so this was on sale so I think these were £16 each which is a lot cheaper than Olaplex I think um, and a lot more product so I'm going to give this a bash they had a few different ones so I got the full shampoo adds body and volume same with the conditioner so got these not tried them out yet I'm going to wait till my Olaplex runs out and then give them a bash and um, I also got a couple bits of clothes and there's a few things that have arrived that I'm going to show you which I'm very excited about but first let's try my new skin bits um, I also want to touch on the fact that I have been the devil this week um, Darren can vouch for that I have been in the worst mood possible I, I'm i still on my keto so I'm not having a carb periods came which you crave all the carbs and I can't have any and I've just been raging like extremely raging so I've been staying away from everyone and yeah I actually went into the gym the other night just to punch the punch bag because I was just full of rage <laughs> I'm sure many of you ladies can understand and I woke up this morning not feeling the best either so I cancelled my gym um, session I think it's important to like listen to your body like before I would just be like no let's just go and do a half hour's effort but wake up don't feel that great I'm just gonna chill out listen to your body give it what it needs if it needs more sleep sleep more 
I absolutely am rolling at the minute anyway. So I've just put a tiny little bit on my hands. Mmm, feels really nice. Feels really lightweight. I was using the Ordinary Primer before and that felt quite thick and heavy on my skin but this is really lightweight and smells nice as well. So this is meant to blur I think. Now let's try this. This smells expensive. It reminds me of when I was younger and I would go into my grandma's makeup drawer and look at all our Estee Lauder products. That's what it smells like. Uh, it does give you a really nice glowy base, but I am very angry that it's not the tanning version. So I'm not really sure what this is actually meant to do to your skin. Higher face alone or after foundations for a smooth and intensely brightening skin. Hmm. Colour correction. Don't really feel that's really colour correcting my skin. I don't think I'd invest £61 into this by choice. Hmm. So, with that on my face, I will just pop some little bits of concealer. Under my eyes. And the nose. All these little blemishes. Oh, hello new friend. Where did this one come from? Probably hormones. But yeah. Apart from that, skin is definitely healing from when I had breakouts. And it, now it's just getting rid of the red bits. And little bits of scarring. So, that was the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer um, and then I actually got this little concealer brush. I've never used a concealer brush before. I usually just use a sponge. I got this one from Iconic and it's quite handy just to kind of buff out your concealer. So once I've done that, it's not fully blended in, so then I take this other iconic um, it's a foundation brush but then I just kind of buff all over my face and it just kind of blends everything together. And then for some under the eye brightening banana low lighter. Now everyone raved about this product and quite frankly I'm not really that much of a fan but I've got it now so I'm going to continue to use it. I found that when I... Um, use this when I had when I put foundation on it kind of like removes where you've had foundation if that makes sense so like all these lines would have would remove the foundation underneath which is not ideal so not really a fan but I use it when I don't have any foundation on a little bit of coverage and brightening and then a little bit of bronze, get this little bronzer brush, Chanel, again everyone raved about this and I'm not a fan but I use it when I don't have foundation on so does the job. Wrap it around the forehead, make me look alive, I don't want to look like I'm dying. I'm just going to put on a really comfortable chunky jumper today and lounge around the house. I mean, when I say lounge around the house, I mean work on my laptop. <laughs> a little bit of colour back into the skin. And one product that I got which I do quite enjoy is the Charlotte Tilbury High Blush. I'm usually a powder blush but this is um, really lovely and it's kind of like a highlighter as well so it gives you a nice little sheen on your cheeks. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. So I'm going to use her fingers but I'm just going to just dab that in with a bit. Oh, beauty blender. And I'm not going to really do much more than that. My eyebrows have 
don't really need much to do doing to them because I am dark and hairy, gals. I don't need to get my eyebrows tinted or anything like that. I grew up with very bushy eyebrows and as a child it was not nice. I think I had my first eyebrow wax when I was I was in primary school and my mum forced me to do it and I was like, why? She was like, you've got a model brow. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'm just filling the little bits that are a little bit bare. But really, not much to be done. Lips. Again, not going to put lipstick on, what's the point? But I do have this really lovely lip treatment from Kiehl's and they do them in different shades. Like this isn't nearly finished, that's how much I love it. And it's just a moisturising lip balm, but it has a nice little tint in it, so it makes you feel good. Ta -da! So let me show you what I got. Okay, are you ready for this? The most Rachel outfit ever. Obviously the full effect isn't in swing so I've not got my hair or makeup done properly. However, this skirt, the perfect birthday skirt, I showed this very very briefly in my um, video the other day. It came in from Vita Grace and I am utterly obsessed with it. I got this new shirt from H&M when I was in store the other day there. It's just a mix between my really slouchy kind of linen one and my really fitted men's one that I got and it, ha it has thicker sleeves and um, thicker cuffs so you can turn them up um, without them being too small and it just sits really nicely with this I think. Or I might try my more fitted one. We'll see how we feel. Obviously it's kind of see-through so I'll need to wear a skin coloured bra but I just absolutely love this little outfit. I feel like it's the perfect birthday outfit and obviously the Dior's will be getting worn. Yeah, really really happy. I feel like you can't really see it in the full effect. This will show you the skirt in better lighting. Do we love or do we love? And then when I was in H&M the other day in St James's Centre, I picked up this baby blue, super thick, cosy knitted jumper, which I thought would be perfect for my skiing trip. It's got the high neck um, detail, like you would expect this to kind of be like a roll neck, but it's not, which I thought was quite nice. Kind of balloon style sleeves. I've just tucked it in. I obviously wouldn't wear it with these trousers, but it comes to about here, so you could just wear this with some leggings for a really comfortable look, or roll it under and tuck it in. It'd be nice with some like gold chains or something. Pop a blazer over this. Super, super cozy, and a gorgeous baby blue color. So I got all my new trousers tailored at the weekends so I can finally show you my last few bits for my trip. So I got these lovely super super comfortable trousers from Naked Fashion. Got them taken up at the bottom so they finally fit me. I've not steamed anything that I'm wearing so apologies but these are just like the most comfortable loose slouchy fitting trousers. I popped them with heels but I got them taken up so I can still wear them with flats and then I got this pink floral um it's kind of like a corset type of top from Misguided with obviously amazing puff sleeves and I thought this combination was just so so beautiful for a nice evening when we go away on holiday and it is just really really comfortable this corset style isn't too restricting it's got the kind of don't know what you call that when it kind of comes down. Is it tapered? I don't really know. But this really flattering um, cut, which makes you look nice and slim. Yeah, really, really lovely. And the pattern on this is just really, really beautiful. It's kind of more of a ready than a pink. But yeah, really, really nice. This would even be nice with some jeans. Um, these trousers, obviously, I will wear all the time. Casual, dress them up. But yeah, just really like this lovely little outfit and then I got this mohair jumper from H&M as well 
very oversized, very thick, very comfy. Put it on top of this white shirt with some leather look leggings. Just for kind of like cosy but kind of chic looks for when I'm away skiing. Now I do have the collar which I could pop over the top but I think this, this neckline is just a touch too high to do that. So yeah, just a cosy skiing evening outfit. Okay, and not to mention the elephant in the room, which is these new suitcases. We actually realised last time we went on holiday that we have no suitcases that are functioning. They're all like slightly broken. So we purchased, we actually purchased a set of three, but Darren has the medium sized one and I get the large one and the little one. <laughs> so these are from Aerolite and they had such a good selection and they come in the set so you can buy them individually. They've got small, medium, large. These ones are meant to fit into cabin hold, but I know some airlines are a bit funny. So I'm going to research and make sure I can take it. But this is like a great size. Look at the size of this. It's really large. So yeah, I thought it was very, very classy looking as well. So yeah, that was the purchase of the week for me and Darren. And Darren... Darren actually said to me, um, oh, we've moved forward in our relationship. We've bought suitcases together. <laughs> yes, if you think so, Darren, but I think that's pretty normal. <laughs> so this is just a small one. You've got your little zip, small zip, and then a bigger zip on the outside, which is quite handy, actually. That can be for, like, storing laptop and things like that. And then you've got your standard bit here with your clips, and it comes with... A lock which is really handy and this is inside the big one I actually came with a free luggage scale which is really good so you've got your main section on the left you've got a little zip bit here for any knickknacks your separator thing with the zip and then the other side so I can separate skiing and second leg of the holiday which is perfect Good morning everyone! Freshly blow dried, fully done my makeup today, it's Friday and yeah, just thought I'd get myself together. Although, now that I'm talking, my mouth hurts. <laughs> that whitening tooth, um, whitening gel that I used last night, it says you can use it th like throughout the night. Oh. Maybe not next time. Very sensitive. Um, I didn't realise how sore it was until I started to speak. Ah! Anyway, let's get on with the day. <laughs> I'm just overreacting. I'll be fine in a second, I'm sure. So, yeah, anyway, I wanted to come on and um, say I think my teeth are a little bit whiter. So I used that paste, obviously, last night in my retainers all night from about half past ten got up at quarter to six um, and there's definitely a difference already so I will not put it in tonight because obviously I am in pain I've not really eaten yet because it's a bit tender I've just got a cup of tea Um, I don't know if hot stuff will irritate or if it's cold stuff that irritates I don't really know but this is the first time I've ever whitened my teeth so if anyone's watching who usually whitens their teeth and you're like, suck it up, it's fine. Apologies. <laughs> anyway, what I was also wanted to come on and do was over on my Instagram, I put up a little Q&A box. I thought, I've been doing this for, it's actually been like a good few months now. Um, and I'm getting a lot of new people I can see that are joining and watching and a lot of um, the usual bunch that comes and watches and I just thought we'd just do a little get to know me, a little Q&A. Um, I know from the vlogs that I watch I like to kind of know more about the person that I'm watching um, so I thought let's do it. Um, so I have a little list, I gathered the most frequently asked questions and kind of rounded it up into one question and um, so I've got four that I'll cover and yeah see how it goes 
So, the first question that I got asked in a bunch of different ways was about Darren and I. So, how we met, um, how long we've been together, questions like that. So, to summarise, Darren is actually my brother's best friend. <laughs> Everyone always kind of goes, oh, how did that happen when I tell them when they don't know? Um, so yeah, he's my brother's best pal. And we actually bumped into each other for the first time when... We were, well, when I was 18 years old, in a club called Cav, if you remember, we probably would get on very well. <laughs> um, and yeah, he bumped into me, I was 18, out clubbing as you do, start chatting to some guy, and then as we kind of got to know each other, he was like, wait, are you Sean's Cameron sister? And I was like, yeah. And then from that moment, it was like, right, see you later, can't be seen talking to you. <laughs> so that was the end of that. And then just always kind of seen him here and there. And yeah, it's always a running joke. I always say that, oh, you've been in love with me since I was 18. Because my brother and his girlfriend would always wind me up. Said, oh, Darren's asking if you're single yet, blah, blah, blah. Um, and just wind me up like that. So then eventually we just kind of got together. I didn't have a boyfriend, he didn't have a girlfriend. And then we just gelled. And that was that. So we've been together for coming up four years this summer. And yeah, lived together. And I've had, so our dog actually was actually Darren's dog. And when we got together, he was one years old and I adopted him officially. I will try and find the picture of the certificate that I made, took Cole into my work at the time and made him witness the adoption certificate. So Cole is officially both of our dogs. <laughs> so that is a love story between Darren and I. Um, I'm sure you'll see more of him in the coming vlogs as we go on a few trips together and things. Um, the next question that kind of got asked from, I'm assuming people that haven't watched from the beginning, because it's asking about like what your job is, what's your full time job, do you work, blah blah blah. So I have recently quit my full time, well I say recently, it's actually two months ago now, can't even believe it's been that fast, but I quit my full time job at the end of November, I was um, in the advertising industry, graphic design, and I quit my job to do full-time self-employment, running a wedding stationery business and if you have been here from the kind of beginning you will know that I did speak about another project that me and Darren have going on together and I've not really spoke about it since and in case anyone's wondering there has been significant progress. Just about able to talk about it I do not want to jinx anything, it has been a long road, um, so stay tuned, exciting things are coming, more promising than I thought before, so yeah, that's the side project that I spoke about and hopefully it can start being spoke about very very soon, which makes me very very excited. Um, so yeah, the next question, um, there's quite a few people who I'm assuming are either thinking about starting up a business or have recently started up a side venture of some sort and there's a lot of questions about like advice for anyone leaving their full-time job how did you leave your full-time job questions like that so questions like that are very personal and specific to every individual based on like what your job is what business you're going into it's very, very difficult to give specific advice other than work your ass off. Like, when I was um, starting my wedding business, I was working full time as well. And it was just juggling. And it would be very, very easy to just, like, give up. And you're too tired. And, you know, you might have a quiet month. You might have a busy month. You know... It's, it's all very relative to your life, but you just have to be very, very, very persistent, um, ambitious, hardworking, forget about um, like social life for a while. Like if you're really serious about your business, then that is like the forefront of 
your life for a while. And I know with this other venture that Dan and I are going to go into, we're going to have to sacrifice like the lifestyle that we have now. Like we love going out, we love going shopping, we love all that sort of stuff. And when this project kicks off, we're going to have to put a halt on all of that because this will take priority and take over the majority of our life. Um, so you just have to be super, super dedicated into what you're doing and be super, super 100% confident that that is what you want to get into. Because let me tell you, I don't feel like I ever work now. Like, I just don't. And it's because I absolutely love doing, like, the wedding stationery. And it's obviously, like, the cliche thing. Um, oh, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I hate cliche sayings like that, but it is... Like, could not be more true. Like, I'll get up and I will work for a couple hours in the morning, then a couple hours in the afternoon, or do a whole day that is, like, really, really, like, a lot of work in one day. But it never, ever feels like too much work. It's very bizarre. And I absolutely love it. Um. So, yeah, and I also think a lot of people think that... You know, there's a lot of these things out there that's like, do you want to work from home and have a flexible lifestyle and earn X amount per month from your phone? And it portrays that you can have that lifestyle very easily with minimum effort. And I did get involved in network marketing for a little while, um, maybe like five or six years ago after seeing one of those posts and to be fair I did okay with it and I did make a bit of money and I did enjoy it um but I just found my calling and then like doing designs um but when I was doing that I also had to like recruit some girls and I found that a lot of people didn't want to put the effort into it didn't want to put the time the energy they just expected to sign up to something like this and then the money would just come into their bank that is not the way the world works. You have to really, really work hard. Um, I actually listen to a lot of podcasts on um, Spotify. The Stephen Bartlett one, Diary of a CEO, is really, really good. He talks to a lot of people who've um, made their millions, started up businesses, now CEOs, um, and their journey and what they've done. And everyone says pretty much the same thing. You know, you'll get knockbacks. It'll be hard work. You'll be tired. You'll be skint at one point um, and you just have to power through and persevere. Um, so yeah, I suppose, I don't know if any of that was advice, but it, that was just kind of like my brain dump for anyone who's thinking about um, doing a business. I also got given a piece of advice when I was thinking about um, leaving my full-time job. Hang on. Um, and I was told that only leave your full-time job when you're earning three times your monthly wage from your current job. And then you know it's, like, sustainable. So there's a bit of an indication on when would be a right time. I mean, it's one of those things where there isn't really a right time. Like, you're always going to have a... Mm, right now is not the best time I've got this to pay for this isn't the best time I've got this coming up and oh I'll wait till next month there is no good time absolutely no good time like I was waiting to leave my full-time job when our secret project <laughs> had begun but I was just at the point I was like screw this I'm not doing this any longer and I wish I'd done it sooner like I've never been happier I've never like I'm earning more money than I did in my full-time job. You know, so many benefits. I have so much more flexibility with with my schedule. Like, if I want to go and see my mum on a Friday afternoon, I can do that. And I know I can work a Saturday morning to compensate. Time, like, time management is absolutely key. So, enough rambling on that. And the last question that I got asked in a roundabout few different ways was based around my friend group and what's your friend group like do you have friends um do you have like a small amount of close friends that sort of thing um because I don't really talk about my friends or show them on here I do have friends I have quite a few of them <laughs> um 
I actually have a few different groups from different situations in life. So I have my core friends, which are from high school. Um, one girl being like my bestest friend from school. And we are also very much um, in touch and close. And the girl that goes to the gym with, she's one of my friends from school. The girl Taylor that I mentioned last week, she's a girl from school. Um, so I have that group of friends. And then my other group of friends, which I'm really close with, is actually my brother's girlfriend. Um, she's basically my sister-in-law, they're not mine, but basically sister-in-law. Um, and we were pretty much like best pals, which I just feel so fortunate because, you know, bringing someone into the family, it can go two ways. I know a lot of people that don't really get on with their sister-in-laws, but she's like my best pal. Um, so her and this and another girl, um, all our boyfriends are best pals. So we're a little group and, and that includes a girl who is like the best of the best gal, <laughs> um, who I actually met her I don't want to say later on in life, but she was the last one to come into my, my life as a friend. I actually met her on a Hindu. Went on this really random Hindu for a girl at the time I didn't really know. Like, it was through my ex and we were invited to the wedding and some of her pals had pulled out of her Hindu and she asked me if I wanted to go. And why not? Because life's too short, people. So I went on this Hindu to Amsterdam um, with without really knowing anyone, was in this room with this girl and we just like got on like you would not believe. It was probably to do with the large amount of Prosecco that was consumed and we were in Amsterdam so there was other things. <laughs> and we just literally fell in love. So yeah, that is my friend group and love them all very much, dearly. Maybe I should start featuring my friends more often. I'm not sure how they would feel about it. Um, I hear the ASOS man. Oh, I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor, but I absolutely just broke my ankle wanting to get my parcel. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the dress of dreams. I say this every time I get a dress delivery, but this one is a good one. And I'm gonna show you. I'll show you right now. Yeah, I think I should show you right now. <laughs> okay, ladies. This is so pretty. I love this dress. I wasn't too sure how this would sit. I didn't know if you'd be able to wear a bra. You can. However, you can see the straps here. So, strap this bra. But it does have built-in um, material under underlay. So... You can just go braless if you want, but I feel like my wardrobe is becoming a white dress puff sleeve, like, museum. Like, there's so many <laughs> puff sleeves going on in here, but I just absolutely love this dress. And it is so comfortable. The back has a nice wee v-neck detail. Very comfortable on the waist. I think I got a size 10. Um... So it's not tight at all, there's some room which is great for like if you go on holiday and you're going to be indulging, very very nice. And the underlay comes to here, so this is just see through kind of crochet lace, so it's very airy, perfect for kind of that transitional time when it's not quite summer, so spring, so you're still covered up. Um, you're not too exposed, but you've still got the lovely spring summer vibes creeping in. I just can't wait to start wearing these things. I've popped this with some heels, um, but this would be just as lovely with flat summer sandals. The length, I'm not sure if you can see the length, but it comes right to my ankles. I'm only five foot two, so I think it is meant to be. I think it's meant to be a midi, but everything's long on a five foot two gal, so we'll live with it. I just love it. I love it.
while we're here I just thought I'd show you this detail close up lovely scalloping intricate little detail in here very very lovely I feel very feminine and pretty in this dress Ding -ding. while we're here <laughs> I did get another thing delivered. I've not even steamed it, so please ignore all the crushed parts of this dress. And I can't reach to pull the zip up, so this isn't fully secure. However, I thought I'd show you anyway. <laughs> so this dress I thought would be perfect for peak summer, summer holidays, you know, summer evenings with a wee heel, or even during the day on holiday with like a wicker basket big sun hat. I thought this was going to be detachable and I could put my own belt on it, sadly I can't, but I'm not mad about it. It is quite short though, um, even for me, usually, or is this petite? I don't think it's petite, but um, yeah, it's quite short. But yeah, I need to steam the whole thing, obviously, it's a bit of a riot, but you'll get the gist. And they actually had this in a gorgeous um, gingham yellow and white pattern and they had it in a pink and I did order all three but only this one arrived because the others went out of stock so sadly I only have the white one however you get the gist now we just need a summer holiday and in the mirror angle, I always think the shape of things come out a little bit better in this mirror but the lighting is better over at the window. So you can see how dramatic these sleeves are. Like I want to be on holiday with some maracas. <laughs> Just the perfect summer holiday dress and this was cheap. This was cheap cheap cheap. Like I think this was £12. I'm almost certain it was that price and as I mentioned they had them in all different colours so it was just too easy to buy. Um, I will link them in the description box if they're still available but I do think they're out of stock but if they're not I will link them all. Same with everything else that I showed you but I'm just obsessed. And you can totally tell the vibe that I'm going for um, over the next few weeks. Pink and white, pink and white. And I have this gorgeous pink suit from Naked Fashion, which I actually got a lifetime ago, but I didn't get round to getting the, the tailors um the trousers tailored, so I've not managed to wear it. But I've got them tailored now, and I'm going to wear them around my birthday period, and it is just a phenomenal suit. So yeah, pink and white. Is the theme for March. <laughs> Before I finish up this vlog I'm just going to show you this little outfit that I've got on today. I featured this in a haul a few weeks ago but it's my Vita Grace blouse which is just holding up so well and the jeans I said I hated. They're actually okay with a bell and some flat pumps but they don't work that great when I've got like boots and things. So yeah cute little boho chic vibe today. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, a little mixture of getting to know me and some new bits um, in my wardrobe and I will see you all next time. For anyone interested I stuck to keto all this week again through my period which is almost like an impossible task um, so I think I deserve a day off. I think I might actually have something nice to eat tomorrow because I am fed up of having butter and eggs <laughs> and chicken <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time Mwah.